A drone attack has been launched on Zerzinsk city in Russia's Nizhogorod region, local telegram channels reported. Ukrainian kamikaze drones hit a military plant. As a result, an explosion occurred in the factory area. No casualties have been reported. The plant, which is one of the largest defense industry enterprises in Russia, produces explosives, shells, equipment for mining and oil and gas industry, seismic and geophysical fields. The plant is included in the Western sanctions list. Вот он лежит, блядь. Оскол двух. Видел спушку? Всем здорово, всех горячо приветствую. Ну что, друзья, на дворе 20 октября 2024 года, вот и до города Ержинска долетело можно так сказать только что на завод свердлого обрушилась атака дронов были взрывы причем такие не слабые но они до сих пор продолжаются по сути где-то примерно я насчитал 14 по крайней мере дронов вот сейчас слышно стреляют на территории завода Сбивают эти беспилотники, но они все равно долетают. Где-то 7 долетело уже до самой цели. Видел спушку? Сейчас видно. Former Defense Minister of the so-called DPR, Igor Strelkov Girkin, who was found guilty of public calls for extremist activity, sent his comrades a letter from the colony. In it, the terrorist sums up this year of war since, according to him, there is very little time left before the autumn off-road conditions begin and, in all likelihood, the summer autumn campaign can be considered over. Girkin writes that, in fact, Russia suffered a strategic military failure this summer stroke autumn. We failed to implement the plan for a broad offensive on Kharkiv, for which forces, resources and reserves had been prepared for a year. And then we missed a blow, although not too strong, but very painful, with the transfer of ground operations to our own territory. But the most important thing is that we lost time, he writes. Girkin predicts that after the humiliating slap on the nose near Kursk, there will soon be new ones which could lead to Belarus being drawn into the war. Unfortunately, this is practically inevitable. It is difficult to say how soon this will happen. I do not have access to the GRU and SVR intelligence reports in VK5, but we can cautiously assume that Belarus, as well as possibly Moldova, could be drawn into the war next year. 
The participation of Poland and Romania is not excluded, although without a declaration of war, I believe, Gürkin said. Recently, NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte sharply criticized Belarus for its role in supporting Russia's war effort in Ukraine, telling reporters that Belarus is enabling Russia at the expense of its own population. Rutte outlined how Belarus has provided infrastructure and territorial support to Russia further entrenching itself in the conflict. Addressing the assembled reporters, Rutte was clear that Belarus's actions are not only detrimental to Ukraine, but are also harming the Belarusian people. All evidence is that Belarus, that Minsk, is supporting Russia in the war effort with infrastructure, with territory, and at a cost to your population, Rutte said. Rutte also made clear that Belarus is not acting from a position of strength. He explained that Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko's alignment with Moscow is weakening the country as it continues to provide crucial support to Russia's military operations in Ukraine.